Excitement is building in Swift Current as the clock ticks away to the 2010 Ford World Women's Curling Championship, March 20th through 28th. As the event draws near, the host committee is busy working behind the scenes covering all angles of the event through ongoing meetings and work on the road to promote the championship. We attended the Briar in Calgary, the Canada Cup in Yorkton, and went to Moncton to the Ford uh, Men's World. And uh, we ha that was valuable. We really got lots of valuable advice and got to observe how to run a big event like this. So, yes, that was very helpful. And we got to meet a lot of people, wonderful people in the curling community as well. Along with the ongoing promotion of the event comes the realization of what such a vast undertaking will mean to the city of Swift Current and the surrounding area as curling teams and fans from around the world converge on the city in March. I um, talked to the city uh, uh, business development officer a while ago, I, I, probably a year ago when this was first announced, and he thought it would be in the range of between six and six and a half million dollar impact on the economy here. So that's great for a city our size. A sentiment which is echoed by many in the local business community. Dwayne Kerbis manages the Comfort Inn in Swift Current and says the phone lines have been busy since the initial announcement of the world-class curling championship coming to the city. And his facility is now book solid. We are, yeah. We have a couple small, uh, small tentative groups that, that should free up some rooms in the, in the coming weeks, but uh, right now we're, we're waiting list only. Kerbis goes on to add that March is generally a slow time of the year. However, 2010 will be a stellar year for his operation. If I can say this, uh, um, Q1 2009 was, uh, was a record first quarter uh, for this property. Um, we're forecasting approximately a 17% increase for the first quarter of 2010 on account of the, the world curling. Meanwhile, the retail sector is also expecting a busy time with the influx of curling fans and other tourists as the world will stop for nine days in Swift Current. Oh, absolutely. I see in excess of about 10 days with all types of visitors coming in from a tourism aspect, not only the hotels, restaurant, food, bars, retail, clothing, um, you know, and the list goes on and on. I think in the last community this that hosted it, it had said something about $7 million in, in economic spinoff. We anticipate a good chunk of that will come into retail and Swift Current Mall will be ready to accept all visitors with open arms. The 2010 Ford World Women's Curling Championship will hit the ice in Swift Current March 20th through 28th at the Credit Union IPlex. Tickets are available through Ticketmaster and online at seasonofchampions.ca. Stay tuned to Southwest TV News in the coming weeks as we feature other exciting aspects leading up to the 2010 Ford World Women's Curling Championship in Swift Current.